GitHub has recently released a feature that allows users to create profile-level README to display on their GitHub profiles. But I'm sure you already know about this because this has been all over the place in a flood of posts, videos, articles, and so on and so forth. So why creating another video about this? Well, the reason is that all the examples I've seen are all about creating very simple static pages. In this video instead, I want to show you how you can automate your profile so you can get automatically the new posts you publish, for example, the new videos you publish, and so on. This is a 3 Minutes Friday. Hi everybody, welcome back to Coder Dave and welcome to a new episode of the 3 Minutes series. In each episode, I will try and explain a concept, showcase a product or service, or yet try and teach you something and all in just three minutes. Short videos, big value, hopefully. Before we start, make sure to subscribe to this channel if you haven't already, and if you want to learn more about DevOps, especially with Azure DevOps and GitHub. Just click on the subscribe button below right now and turn on the notifications so you will not miss any new videos. Today we talk about the new GitHub profile readme and how we can automatically update it based on internal or external activities. And even though this is a three minutes Friday, I have to tell you that most likely it will take me more than three minutes to go through all of this. But let's start the clock and get into it. Very briefly, in case you haven't seen this already, to enable the new profile page, you just have to create a repo with the same name as your username, make sure it's public and initialize it with a readme file. Now that we have it, let me show you my profile page with the sections that automatically update, and then I will walk you through how to make something similar. So this is my GitHub profile. In this screen, we don't have anything strange or particular. I only have some ways to contact me, whether it is the YouTube channel or my Twitter handle. And by the way, if you're not doing it yet, follow me on Twitter or in my other social media profiles. You can find all the links in the video description. And then I have some text, some other links, and some of the languages and tools I'm proficient with. And all of this is static, so no big news here. However, if we scroll down, we see the interesting part. Those two sections, the latest YouTube videos and the latest blog posts, are updated with, of course, as it says, my latest videos and posts that are grabbed automatically from YouTube and from my blog. If I scroll further down, I have this GitHub stats section that is updated kind of real time. And finally, some of my recent GitHub activity. Let's see how we can achieve those. How can we have the GitHub stats, the recent activity, and how we can automatically update those sections. Here we are in my newton slash newton repo, because as we've said, your repo needs to have the same name as your username. And let me show the code first. So this is the readme markdown file. It's a normal markdown file. But if we scroll down to the auto updating sections, we can see two interesting things. Some sort of comment that basically opens and closes the part of the markdown that is automatically updated. We have this YouTube column start and this blog post list column start. Remember this because we will talk about that in a second. And if we scroll further down, we see the same thing or a very similar one actually in the activity part. This is where the list of recent activities is printed out in the markdown file. Finally, this is the code I have for my stats which comes from this public app in which you just need to pass your username and if you want or not to show the icons and some other params. And this will have access to your contribution and calculate the stats for you. You can find this URL in the video description so you can reuse it if you want. And then this will generate for you the stats. So how can we automatically update the recent videos, the recent posts and the recent activity? Well, the answer for that is with GitHub Actions. In fact, if we go to my actions part, we have three actions workflows that update my GitHub activity, update latest blog posts, and update the latest YouTube videos. Let's take a look at those files. They are, of course, in the .github slash workflows folder. Let's take the first one, update blog posts. It's a normal GitHub action that is scheduled to run every two hours, and I can also invoke that manually. But the main work is done by this third-party action, which basically gets as input just the feed of the blog in this case, and the tag name we want to use for marking the section. If you remember before, we had this blog-post-list column start, and then blog-post-list column ends. And what this action does is going into this feed, parsing it out, taking the latest five posts 
formatting it in markdown and then write a markdown within the comment tag start and end we have in our markdown that is very very easy and if we go back to our youtube workflow you'll see that it's exactly the same but it's just scheduled slightly different and it uses the same action of course the feed url is different and also the tag i'm using is different and once again what this does is parsing the feed and substituting the content of the markdown section inside these tags finally let's take a look at the update github activity this one is scheduled to be executed every 30 minutes and this is even simpler because it's another github action that only requires the github token to interact with your repos and history and this will grab your activity and show the latest activity you've done in the public repos one thing i want to mention and it's true also for the other two actions we've seen is that you need to have the code checked out because all of those actions need to be able to read your readme file and also write to your readme file and if you don't have the action checkout step before using any of these other actions that will not work anyway there it is your way to automatically update your profile whether with external information like from YouTube or your blog or with internal information like the recent activity in GitHub. And we're done. As I thought, more than three minutes. I hope you don't mind. And as you've seen, it's fairly straightforward to create a profile that automatically updates. So let me know in the comment section below what do you think about this. Of course, there will be many other use cases you can think of apart from what I've shown you, but I hope now you have a general idea on how you can achieve those things. And if you want, Post in the comment section below the link to your profile page because I'm really curious to see what you all have done with it. Thanks so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it. Hit the like button below, subscribe if you haven't already, and I see you in the next video here at Code Dave.